Hey there everyone, in today's video we are going to talk about a WooCommerce theme, basically the best WooCommerce theme out there named as Platsum. Platsum is a multi-purpose responsive, responsive WooCommerce theme with over a 100,000 download out there, which is ridiculous if you talk, talk about the sales out there. So let me show you how exactly the demo content and the demo page looks like. We are going to import the whole demo section into our website. Right? So this is something you will get with the help of Flatsum theme, which is really good. Let me uh, let me open one one demo content, then you will get a rough idea how exactly it looks. So you can see here is a slider section. Then you get some small widget area. Then your product grid mode, which is scrollable, of course, and other product section and product categories. You can select the item via category section. And the best part about it, it is also mobile responsive, which has to be the great thing because nowadays uh, almost more than 50% of the audience use cell phones and it has to be mobile responsive. Okay, so today we are going to install this theme on our website and try to make our website way more professional than it was earlier used to be. So. I will not prefer you to buy from the official website if you are just going to try and test it out. I rather use a GPL theme which will cost you around $10. If you just want to try and test it out, if you just want to try and test it out, I would suggest you to go for a GPL theme because if you just buy the original theme and you think after buying that if you feel that this theme isn't worth it for you then you will feel like regret of buying that theme so i will just suggest you to come here and buy for ten dollars if you like the theme then it's well and good and if you feel that it's not worth taking you can just get a seven days money back guarantee from this site right so i will just click on download once the download has been started uh you you have to wait for the download complete I will just cancel the download. I have already downloaded it. So now moving towards our WordPress website. Let me show you. This is a brand new and totally new installed WordPress website on my local host. I will work on this website only on. So if you guys don't know how to get into the backend, you just have to type login or WP admin after your URL. Then you have to put your ID and password to log in your dashboard. Once you are come to the dashboard section, we have to install our theme, right? So on the left side, you will see the appearance section. Under that, you will see themes. Click on themes and we have to upload a new theme, right? So we have to click on add new and by default, WordPress provide you n numbers of free themes. Uh, let it load. I will show you. So as you can see, WordPress suggests you like n numbers of free themes, but there are many difference between free and paid theme. That's why I prefer paid themes like premium themes, which has a more rough edge than free themes because it has more conversion rates when it comes to AdSense, making money prospective and it loads up very fast compared to free themes and it is well optimized, right? You get my point? So let's upload the theme, click on upload theme and we have to select the file, right? I will choose my file where it is located. It's flat sum. I will select that file and install now. Installation process totally depend upon your internet speed. Mine is working on local hosts. That's why it doesn't take that much of time. I'll click on activate. So once it's activated, it will run a setup wizard for you so that you can totally easily install your website with no hassle work right so let's go start the setup wizard and right now we don't have product key because it's a gpl general public license we will just skip this step and it's asking us to install its child theme yeah we have the child theme create a and use the child theme child theme has been installed properly let's hit continue and it's asking us to install the recommended plugin so let me explain you what it is whenever a theme suggests you to install recommended plugins do not ignore that message or notification because a premium theme or a theme consists of certain functionalities so 
If you want those functionalities to work properly, you need to install those required plugins. So we will just click on continue and it will start the installation process to install all those recommended plugins. Let's wait for a couple of minutes. So after that, we will click on install to just get all the pages done properly. Just wait for it. So the final step, they are asking us to upload a new logo so that we can use this for our brand. So right now I will just go with this logo, hit on continue and hit on agree and continue. So the installation setup wizard has been completed successfully. Let's see how our website looks right now. So let's click and you can see the whole demo website has been imported on our website. But wait, why, why there are no images? Because right now, due to copyright issues, themes are not providing images with the package. So you have to install your own images with the product. Let me show you how the product page looks exactly. I will click on any product like this product. You will get the product image. You will get a beautiful section to describe your product. Add to cart button, social share buttons, and a little bit more description about your product and some reviews also, right? And if you want to edit the product, you just have to come to the dashboard section and under the products section, which you will find on the left side, you have to click on all products and you can edit any product, whichever you want to, or you can just add new product. So the WooCommerce section is totally depend upon how much you time you have investing invested in searching about WooCommerce, you can just Google it or go to YouTube and watch some other videos. So that's it for this video. I hope you really like this video and do let me know in the comment section which theme you are recommended to take. I would rather suggest you to just go for a GPL theme or if you are a WordPress agency, you can just come here and buy our membership plan because there are way more benefits if you buy a membership plan. Let me show you how. So if you take any of this membership plan, you will get high beneficial credits because of that. Uh, so for example, if you take the bronze plan, which is $250 for five years, uh, with the help of that plan, you will be able to download 360, uh, 3,600 items per year, which is totally amazing because this website consists of over 5,000 WordPress plugin and theme, which is nuts. You, you literally get all the plugins out there. So if, if you don't have that much of budget for five years, you can just take the monthly plan of $29 with uh, the only difference here is you will be able to download only 300 items per month. So that's not a bad deal also. So that's it for this video. I hope you really like this video. If you did, just give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.